So here I've got a uh, pellet burner that I made, kind of my, uh, my second pellet burner. I tried it out uh, on a new rocket stove that I've, I'm sort of making or I'm putting together from parts that I've had and it was amazingly um, hot. It worked really well, it worked too well. It needs to be toned down a little bit. One problem was the pellets were coming out the sides. I think these gaps might be a little bit too big but I've covered up the sides now and the next thing I'm going to do is put a plate right here. The fire is going to be coming um, going that way and this will keep some of the flames from coming up here and heating the pellets up more than they should be maybe. I'm experimenting. Uh, the other thing I'm experimenting with is uh, right here I'm brazing this. I, I did a lot of welding to this. The welding, uh, my welds aren't the greatest, and then you gotta grind them, and the grinding takes forever. Brazing is actually pretty cool because, um, well, I'm gonna try brazing. I think, for example, if I wanna remove this, all I gotta do is heat this really quickly with my Oxy Magna Gas torch. That's how I brazed it, and the thing is so hot, and um, the bronze brazing, melts at a relatively low temperature so you can just take it off and and rework things as you experiment so i think uh i'm going to try to see how it works see if the brazing can handle the heat also i'm going to i'm not going to do too much brazing here um partly to experiment to see if the thing comes off or not a lot of heat comes out of this you know f um for for pellet heat um i don't know if it's as much as like propane or magna gas I, I know it's not, uh, but um, I mean nothing's as hot as magna gas. But I'll see if these these this brazing will hold up, um, and uh, and and certain parts of the the rocket stove get hotter than other parts. So you can get away with different you know thicknesses of metal, different types of metal. A lot of this is stainless steel. Um, but um, this is just thin sheet metal right here. So I'm going to uh, braise this up. This is my flux coated rod right here. Heats the sheet metal up very, very quickly. The uh, stainless is going to be a little harder, plus, the stainless is thicker. Look at how hot the, uh, the sheet metal is already. So it's kind of like soldering, you know, brazing, soldering similar and it's also fluid so uh, let's see actually let me get attacked first the other thing is I'm testing out uh, I'm doing absolutely no prep preparation I'm just seeing if it if it's all gonna somehow hold together I know the flame is really hot so that might be enough to get away with it that's that's actually kind of what I'm testing also there, now it's starting to liquidize. See how that connects? So in a lot of ways, it's so much easier than welding and dealing with the grinding. It's just, you know, how well it will it last? Will it work at all? You know, we'll find out. I'm just gonna tack this three places. And I did no prep work, but I think we'll just see, see if it can, see if the Magna Gas does the prep work. The magic Gas. So many people hate. 
Well, they're not really people. They're drone bots. All right. Zombie apocalypse. Um, I'm gonna see how that works. And I'm gonna do a f maybe a few more mods to this and then I'll, uh, I'll show you. See, look at that, I picked this up right here. Now I could, uh, it has, you know, the cool colors it makes on, on the sheet metal. And you can um, clean that up with a wire brush, which should be done to get rid of the flux on there. But I'm not even gonna do that because this is gonna get some high temperatures and we're just gonna see what happens. Okay, on to the next part.